일론 머스크가 우리가 알기로도 굉장히 상상력이 뛰어난 그리고 그걸 어떻게 해보려는 추진력이 굉장히 강한 경영자로 알고는 있는데 특히 이 화성에 꽂힌 거는 박사님하고 음. 관계에서 나왔다고 들었는데 어떻게 처음 두 분이 만나서 화성에 대한 얘기를 나누게 되셨는지요? Well, uh, I think the first thing that happened was he read my book, The Case for Mars, and that got him very interested. And then the Mars Society held a fundraiser in Silicon Valley, which is where he was living in 2001. And uh, it was $500 a, a plate to come and be there. And uh, we got a check from someone for $5,000. Who is this? Elon Musk. Oh. We'd never heard of him. So we did some research and, and found out who he was. He was uh, one of the leaders of uh, PayPal. So I contacted him and I had a two hour cup of coffee with him before the event. Mm. We talked a great deal and we recruited him. He joined the board of the Mars Society and he was on our board for a while. But then at a certain point, he said to me, look, you know, I'm not the sort of person that wants to be part of someone else's uh, uh, organization. I want to lead my own effort, okay? That's who I am. And I've already made all the money I could possibly want or use in my life, and I'm trying to think of what to do with my life. You should understand, this is 2001. He was 30 years old. And there were two things that he thought would be important to do, because it wasn't about money anymore. It was about doing something important, okay? And one was humans to Mars, and the other was solar energy. I argued forcefully for Mars. I, I, I said, look, solar energy, the commercial case for it is obvious. Anyone who has an idea about how to make it better or cheaper can find investors and that will happen. The market will make that happen and it doesn't need Elon Musk to make that happen. Oh. But Mars, you can't go to investors and tell them they'll make a lot of money by investing in Mars. Okay, that's not going to happen. So you need someone who can see the vision, who wants to do this for reasons other than making money. Hmm. It needs you, okay, if this is going to happen. Now, in the end, he decided to do both, and he did the uh, car company too. But you know what's very interesting about this? If you think of these three things that Elon Musk made his passion, Mars, the electric car, and solar energy, the two where he was successful and important were the two which were least likely to succeed. Mars, it's no business case for Mars. Electric car companies had continually failed for the past century. Where solar energy, there are a lot of successful companies in solar energy. And I think he was reasonably successful in solar energy, but he's not important in solar energy. If it was something that anyone else could see the merit of, then the field would be crowded. If it's something that required unique vision, that is where he could excel and has excelled. 교수님 혹시 일론 머스크 그 이후에 4,500 불 돌려달라는 얘기는 안 했습니까? <웃음> no, no, he, he, no, he did not. And in fact, he, he then, in fact, a bit later gave $100,000, which helped us build our Mars Desert Research Station. Um, but you know, the real contribution that he has done is not the money he's given the Mars Society but the creation of SpaceX, which is what is going to make our dream possible. is going to bifurcate along two directions. One, one, one path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Um, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. 여러 명 인터뷰를 했는데 네. 항상 
일론 머스크가 그 뒤에 있어요. <웃음> 어떤 얘기를 일론 머스크 다들... 나오고 우주 얘기도 일론 머스크 나오고 맞아, 맞아. 뭐 그래도 대단한 영향을 끼친 사람이라는 생각이 드는 것 같아요. 분명 그 과정에서 실패하는 순간이 있었을 것 같은데 그때마다 이제 박사님께서 해주신 조언이 뭐였는지도 궁금해요. Oh, uh, I didn't give that much advice. And, and to be clear, the design of the Starship is Musk's. It, it's not mine. Um, now the mission architecture. that Starship will use to go to Mars is mine. Okay, it's known as the Mars Direct Plan, which avoids on-orbit assembly and instead goes directly to the surface of Mars, where we make our return propellant, methane and oxygen, on the surface of Mars out of local materials, and then fly directly back to Earth. Some ideas of Starship did come from me, but the Starship itself did not come from me.